We made it. Well, we're on the river. We're moving. We left about 20 minutes ago, maybe 15 minutes ago. Dogs are still overstimulated, but I think this is their second voyage, so to be honest, I'm overstimulated. It's a lot going on, but we are headed to our first anchorage ever. <laughs> And we were off to our first anchorage ever, just outside of Wakawachi Marina. All right, boxing up the crew, getting ready to grab a little dinner over at the yacht club. Uh, Wakawachi. It's got pretty good food. Well, either the battery or the Minn Kota definitely just uh, ceased working. So I'm just out here floating around, basically, kind of just getting, uh, just getting further and further away from the boat. So that kind of sucks. I made Ben take the dinghy out before I loaded all the dogs in it because I was worried that it wasn't gonna have enough power to get us across the river. So I made Ben take it out, but we took the paddle out of the dinghy, the emergency paddle, before he took it out for some reason. I don't even know why. And then he's drifting away and I'm watching him get further and further away. And then finally he calls me over with one of these. So I get on the paddle board with an extra paddle and paddle it out to him. And then he had to paddle the dinghy back to the boat like George Washington, standing at the front of the boat. But he did it! Should I <laughs> wear a life jacket? Yeah, why not? Okay. I don't know. I think it's not a bad idea. Yeah, I probably should. Life jackets? They're alright. Alright, this lady seriously wants chicken strips from over here. Bad. They're so good. Bad. Bad enough to paddleboard over there. So, stay tuned. Okay. Yeah. You wanna unpeak? Yes, ma'am. Calm down, Bubba. Let me know when I'm good to go. You are loud, Bubba. Okay. I'm free? You're free as a bird. See, you're halfway there already. Here she comes. Hi. Hey. Get back, boys. Get back. Penguin. I think Penguin is smelling those coconut shrimps. <laughs> I could hear him barking all the way over there. Today we are anchored up at Sandy Island in South Carolina. We are off a little... This is called a creek, but where I grew up, creeks did not look like this. So it's just off the ICW and we liked it because it has a spot where we can take the dogs to go roam around for the day. Pretty nice. It is windy. Windy today. But another successful motor. Alright, give me that radio, lady. Galley to cockpit. Galley to cockpit. Over. Cockpit. <laughs> They're chilling. That first passage, they were crazy and wild, but also it was like 95 degrees and I had their life jackets on. It was hot. I think they're doing much better. Yeah. Yeah, they're doing great. Oh my god, they're going under our boat! Ah! What? We are approaching our first bridge. I'm on the bow. I've got the binoculars. I've got the walkie-talkie. And I got the GoPro. Come on, you Okay, well we're through and I forgot to GoPro it. <laughs>
Had Magenta Line all the way to the Bahamas. Woo! We just saw dolphins. That's a good omen. Well, we're up running the generator <clears throat> and making breakfast because Okay, so on our mast, there's a big rope that runs to the top and works our mainsail. It's called our halyard, and it was flapping against our mast. <clears throat> and then also, we specifically knew that high tide was at 5.55 a.m. So all this was happening at like 5.45. So I came up top just to see what was going on. And we were literally in those weeds. We were stern in the weeds so i woke ben up and was like hey we got to do something it's still pitch black out so we wake up and we kind of orientate ourselves with i don't know if you can see if there's like a cell phone tower there there's two cell phone towers right there and they have lights so yeah we were Redropping our anchor at 5:40 a.m. But you know what? Now we're up. It's like 6:30. We're gonna get an early start. Um, we caught a beautiful sunrise and we made bacon. So I think I think all in all everything's fine. But stressful way to wake up. We're up in here. Decompressing after kind of a stressful, I've had a hard time adjusting. The last three days have been kind of hard and I was in tears earlier today. And I almost was. But my husband talked me off the edge. And we're all good now. We're all good now. We are headed out of this harbor today. Not harbor. Marina St. John's Yacht Club. It's been really, really nice, <clears throat> but we got to keep moving south. So I'm just food prepping some sausage balls because we had all the ingredients and it's going to be a nice quick breakfast for us to just do in the morning. Ben's filling the water. He might have just finished. I just finished, just now. We only went through one tank. We didn't even go through one tank in five days. I think that's pretty spectacular. Yeah, it's not bad. What are you learning how to tie right here? This is a highwayman's hitch. Okay. Easy to get untied really quick. Uh, technically, this isn't really for sailors, but I'm just going through the book. Deal. So it looks like we're watching the American Eagle uh, cruise liner cruise past here. It goes from Charleston to Florida, uh, which is basically what we're up to. So check them out. It's a baby. I think that's a baby. Oh my god. I think that is a baby. It's a baby. There's like four of them right there though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, they're being so cute. Well, we had every intention of staying at this anchorage because it's just so full of dolphins. It's one of the wildest things we've ever seen. But uh, when we started making breakfast this morning, we realized the fridge quit working. So uh, we're gonna have to start motoring towards somewhere where we can hook up on a fridge. Bye dolphins. Stop. 
Well, we were super excited about hanging out here today. We we're just gonna hang out at Anchor because we have a an appointment to get our generator worked on in Savannah, Georgia on the 6th, November 6th. So we were just trying to kill time. Went to go make some breakfast and our fridge stopped working. So we're back on the road. Well, we're back on the water and we're headed to a marina that didn't have availability until Monday. So it is, oh my gosh, the boat's really moving. Well, we were at a really awesome anchorage this morning and then our fridge stopped working. So we booked it because the closest marina is about 35 miles away. So, but then I just was troubleshooting it and it looks like our inverter isn't working. So maybe our fridge is working and we have extra inverters. I didn't realize this until we were underway. So we are temporarily anchored out in a canal right now. Ben's down below trying to check it out. And we broke the rope on our generator this morning. That can be fixed too, but all at once. Well, we just had uh, one of the motors stop. It seems to me like a fuel system issue. Uh, so I changed both of the ray cores and the Yanmar filter, uh, but it still isn't starting. So um, seems like it's got plenty of spark, plenty of air. Uh, I think it's going to be the low pressure fuel pump. So uh, yeah, we're motoring along at uh, 4.7, 4.8 knots on one engine. So I'm not too disappointed really. Uh, just trying to figure out where we can get a new uh, low pressure fuel pump for these for this Yanmar. Yeah, so I always gotta have uh, sunscreen and water in my cup holder because I get a lot of sun just on this one foot here. When you're going south all day, every day. You gotta do it. What do you think? I think this is lots. It's, it's, it still makes me feel scared. But I'll get over that too. Alright, so we're basically sitting here uh, not too far out of uh, Beaufort, South Carolina. We're basically dead in the water. Started out the day with two engines. Uh, then I did most of the day with one engine. And uh, <clears throat> then I went to no engines. So that's obviously a problem when you're on the ICW. I get it, it's a sailboat. Use the sails. There's not a lot of wind in the ICW though. So it's like, uh, what are you gonna do? Basically, stay tuned. Woke up to a fog thicker than I've ever seen in my life. Hey, what's going on? Just up here, Ladies Island Marina. Stayed up here last night and uh, it was really nice. Super easy to get into. Right by the bridge over here. Bunch of big catamarans docked up in here. Got a nice little restaurant up above marina house there yeah it's pretty beautiful well we're just kind of uh getting everything packed up and organized getting ready to leave ladies island marina here in a little bit but uh i think we're going to try and borrow their car to run up to west marine real quick and then uh maybe over to walmart really fast also We'll probably be heading out, try to uh, make it a little further south to link up with uh, a fellow that has uh, 
parts that I need to keep smashing down to Florida. All right. All right. I guess, as you can see at this point, we love borrowing a marina car. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? What's marine? Deal. We liked Ladies Island Marina. They had a courtesy car, but it's walkable to a lot of restaurants. The restaurant at the dock, called Dockside, had the best coconut shrimp we've ever had. But we took off and we found a good anchorage. But the next morning, we woke up to the worst wind chop we've seen since we started. Back inside. Thank you. Yeah. Actually, I'm popping right back out. 